Hi there, and welcome back to another Bob Blast. I'm Bob Burridge, and this one, if you've been following all of these crazy little blasts, is I'm gonna be doing some more lessons about things I'm going to be doing at Art of the Carolinas. It's coming up, you know, you've already seen my schedule. And this one is something that we do every day in my studio, and we will be doing it also in all of my classes, which I call doing a series. Never do just one painting, always a series. I do like six little ones every day on a piece of watercolor paper, the same subject over and over and over. It's almost like tying your shoe. After a while, it becomes automatic. And that's how I teach myself how to paint. Always a loose and really juicy series. Here I'm doing uh, a series of uh, the same subject over and over and over the flowers. It's more what I'm also practicing, my what I call my Rembrandt lighting where it goes from dark to light, then down here, dark to light. Of course, that's your focal point right there. I call it the Rembrandt lighting. Light to dark, and the background, light to dark. It flip-flops. So this is monochromatic. So again, these will be my practice pieces for this particular video. Hey, let's go watch me paint. So this is an earlier painting of mine, and this is the effect I'm going after, dark to light, dark to light. Okay, here we go. So just starting out with black and white, I already started real loosely put together some black and white layouts, so to speak. And so I know that that's gonna be the focal point. They're kind of the same, but totally different. And that's where I call this practice, big wide brush. I'm going to continue on. I have my black out already and my white out already. So using this as my model, there we go. And I'm going back again, working with the lights, the darks, with each one. And look, I'm, I'm painting from far away. Don't stay really close, and that's one of the reasons I stand. There we go, really dark, oh, nice contrast. And then I continue on. Contrast, negative shape. I make it all up, quite frankly, obviously. I just keep painting until it looks good. Well, that's how I like to paint anyway. This is just another way of painting. Here we go. Keep on going. I'll move back over here. You see? So I'm getting the contrast I'm looking for. Pretty dramatic. Very dramatic. There we go. I like it. Here's some more. What I'm really looking at is the, the overall negative shape. There we go. Okay. Here we go. Now I'm gonna get the white in here. Bring my brush. There's some white. Do all my mixing on the table. Again, I'm only working on contrast. No color yet. Matter of fact, I just want it to look pretty dramatic just being as a black and white. There we go. I need to work on this one. <laughs> there we go. Uh, better already. Gives me an idea for this one. Whoa. Cool. Softening. Yes, there we go. Softening this back line. Making it out of focus. There we go. Yeah. And you notice I'm, I'm painting all over the place. Don't stay in one place too long. I'm also painting at arm's length, you know, and holding the brush on the back. It keeps me uh, less in control, and that's what I like. There we go. That is strange. There we go. Some of these big brush marks tend to lend themselves to looking like flowers, and sometimes they don't. 
Oh well, here we go. Oh, I have a table here. I started the table. All right. So, I just wanted to let you know that this is kind of the thing that we do every day in the studio and also at my workshops, just to be loose. And we work with just darks and lights, real simple, strong shapes. And then after it dries, here's the next best part. We're going to wipe on a translucent, a transparent color. And that's when the fun begins again. Stay tuned. Hi there, and it's time for the trade shows. And this November is the one that I do every year at Art of the Carolinas. You've heard about it. It's sponsored there by Jerry's Artorama. I love going there every November. One of the good things about the trade shows is, first of all, they have all these workshops. There are going to be something like 150 art instructors. A lot of workshops going through uh, for several days. It's fantastic. And then the other good thing about those trade shows is the materials, the art materials are already there in the workshops waiting for you. You get to try a little bit of everything. And also out there on the convention floor will be all the art materials manufacturers. And that's where you're gonna get some deep, deep, deep discounts. We all go there. Heck, I go there and buy art materials. I love going there. So speaking about doing all these workshops, the ones that I'm gonna be doing will be, there's some, here they are right here, right? I'm gonna be doing one called Goof Proof Color and Compositions. It's fantastic, three hours, we get, we give you all the art materials. You just have to show up, right? Okay, then we do, we're gonna be doing abstract florals from loose splatters. I'm gonna be throwing paint all over the place. It's fantastic, don't wear your best clothing, okay? Okay, then we have the loose and juicy landscapes. We'll be doing some of those too. Look at all these fantastic ways of doing loose and juicy landscapes, all right? Oh, oh, easy way to paint the figure. This one is really also one of my favorites. Here's some of the examples that we're going to be doing in those workshops. Paint and tear the new contemporary collage. Look, tearing paper, painting. Oh man, we're talking about 2017 contemporary artwork. Start abstract painting today. Speaking about painting for today, we go the full gamut. We come all the way up to this area. Start abstract painting today. I'm gonna to tell you, this is just fantastic. I hope to see you there at Art of the Carolinas. It's gonna be fantastic this November. Go to the website and check out Sharon DeGiulio. She's the lady you wanna to go to and she'll sign you up and talk to you and she's spectacular. I hope to see you there in November at Art of the Carolinas, sponsored by Jerry's Autorama.